Some say it's rabbit season. I say it's duck season. More accurately, geese. Goose season. Getting pretty close with them walking away again. They don't love me yet. Maybe one day they will. What's up, guys? So, the weather in Delaware today is not really many people's cup of tea, but honestly, I don't mind because it gets rid of all the insects because it's nice and cold. And it, uh, takes down allergens because I have a uh, seasonal allergy so but, you know, I'm kind of digging it oh my Right here is another edible plant. These are some violets that are just now starting to bloom. Which I am not going to eat from this area because our dog likes to take a piss here. Otherwise, I'd say they are good to go. There's these little blue flowers on there. The wild violets. Most people have them in their yards, at least in the Northeast. Edible. There's a European version as well, which is supposed to be slightly sweeter. A lot of times it's dipped in chocolate. But just get it wrong. So right now, I got myself a can of tuna. I think I'm gonna be able to do something really awesome with it. Check this out. So right here, got some pasta. Cooked al dente. Half of a green pepper and a red onion. And one special ingredient toasted sesame oil. Now, this is gonna be good. And now, what you see here, the onion is nice and diced. You don't really need it too small because it'll caramelize and melt down. So, that size is just about right. And now you're ready to pour some sesame oil into your pan, which is already heating. As you can see, I have the fire on there. Just pour some gingerly there in the middle and let it spread around. That's what all you need. Let's say that's about a cap full. I'm just going to take it and swirl it around there so it covers the whole surface. Then you need to throw in your ingredients. And there you go. My 
fire is not too hot yet, so it isn't so much. So, you know, you can wait to get a little hotter if you need, if you wish. So that you get that nice searing sound when the ingredients go in. Increase my fire just a little bit. Kind of increase my fire just a little bit. See, right now we're getting a little bit more of a sizzle. Then what I like to do is I just kind of swish it around so that the ingredients become covered in the sizzling oil. Hey, it's an apple. That's about good enough <laughs> so now we're ready to add the tuna into the ingredients. Let's see here, it looks so. So I turn the heat up a bit on the food. Now I'm ready to add. My assortment of other ingredients in there. I love to use Obey. Since it's fish, Obey is going to make it taste amazing. So just sprinkle some Obey on there. I mean, for me, I almost can never get too much Obey. Uh, I don't know about you, but I simply love this stuff. And right here I have some organic no salt seasoning. Let's see what's in here. So we got organic onion, garlic, carrot, black pepper, and an assortment of other organic spices. So add a little bit of that in there. That's what all we need. Not too much. I, I usually mostly use this just for the, the fact that it has garlic in it. All right, we have a little black pepper. Don't really too much of that. And this is my substitute for soy sauce. I'm gonna add some of that in there. This is gonna go super well with the sesame oil. Just gotta do some out. Right now I'm gonna actually add more sesame oil because um, as it cooks, it loses some of that oil. Let's add some more in there. And I love to cook with a vinegar. It could be apple cider vinegar or this white wine vinegar. Works very well. Add a little bit of that. And then we have some cilantro. Get that top off with one hand. And just add that in there gingerly. You don't want too much cilantro. Just a little sprinkle. Now I'm just going to turn this fire up a little bit and stir it around. And the smell coming off that is pretty amazing. This is gonna cook very fast. This is nearly done already. Let's let it cook for another like, say three to five minutes just to get the spices marinated in that tuna. And then you're good to go. Just pour that on top of your pasta. And you have your supper for me meal. Put a can of tuna. One last thing I suggest doing to your noodles is adding a tiny bit of sesame oil to them and stirring it around so that it just doesn't stick together and it gives the noodles themselves a little bit of flavor. So you look down there, there's not really much water in there. I'm boiling that out just to get it warmed up. So there it is in completion. Asian inspired tuna, onion, green pepper pasta dish. It honestly looks insane and amazing. Can't wait to eat it all. If you want to try it, or if you do try it, comment below and let me know how you like it. Or if it came out well if you cook it. So here we are, trying it out. So far, my sister says it's good. Let's see. She says it's very good. Too big of these. Wow. 
Just imagine. Definitely try out. So, found out that uh, we got a stay at home, mandatory stay at home email until May 15th, which looks like we're doing a lot of working out at home or outdoors in the immediate areas outside the house and around the neighborhood. Just that you're allowed to really, you know, exercise and walk your dog, so. We're gonna be doing some of that right now. A little bit of exercise. Show up the muscles real quick. We're gonna start with some curls tonight. Got a nice 60 pound barbell here. Legs, shoulders apart. Arms here at the bone section of the weight. Let's do that curl. Attack. Bar down. Take long, you know, 10 to 20 second break. And then you go again. Five, four, three, two, one. It's your second set. Try not to rock your body too much. If you find yourself rocking your body too much, you probably need lighter weight. So now we're out here in the storage room. We got a bar here to do some tips on. We do 10. Much stable. Use that metabolic rate. So I feel like we got those abs worked out pretty well. Now let's go for some chests. I'm pretty much in love with the pose push-up. Side, side, two. So now it's time for some ab workouts. I'm gonna do what I call the crucifixes because I don't know the name of it, the technical term. We're gonna start with those. We're gonna get in the crucifix position. All the way up, all the way down. Forty. You don't have to do forty, but do as many as you can. Five. 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 Five.